the best way of opening Forrester the first time is to open your copy of Max, then go to Max, and most of the problems that people have is people running the wrong version of Max. So just check your version of Max if you choose About Max. And then just see the version, make sure it's more than 8.1.10. This is 8.2.1, so that's fine. File in the Max menu, File, Open. And then I'm going to go to the desktop, which is where I've uh, got my Forrester folder. Open it up, find the Forrester 2022 MXF, and then Open. There we go. And that is the interface for Forrester. Um, if I close that, now, th now that I've done this uh, process, I just go File, Open Recent, and then pick Forrester, and we're in business. Um, so quickly setting up the audio, I'm going to click the DSP Open button, which opens the audio status window. Now, it might be that your um, audio status uh, button comes grayed out, which means that the audio is not on. Um, so you need to set your driver. On a Mac, this is core audio. On a PC, you need to choose whichever um, your sound card or built-in audio is. Now you can select your input device. So I'm gonna choose my Fireface UFX. An output device for me would usually be the Fireface, but I'm recording this uh, through Zoom Audio device, so I'm going to leave that selected. Your sample rate, um, zoom is 48k, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, and then your vector size, IO, is your buffer. Your, it sets your latency in and out of your sound card. Um, if you have sort of crackling or problems with the sound, you might want to put this up to 512. For me, 128 is fine. Signal vector size, I would just leave this alone. Um, maybe 512 if there's problems with your sound, but for me, 128 seems okay. Overdrive, I'd have that switched on. Don't worry about this one. Um, the input is where you select you, the uh, how you get sound in to Forrester. So I've got a synthesizer coming in on nine, I think. So I'm going to leave it nine. And then the second channel, I've got nothing coming in because it's mono. So I'm going to leave that switched off. And then my outputs are on one and two on my sound card. So that's totally, ah, that's the Zoom audio device outputs. Um, so that's totally fine. Um, actually, we should set up the MIDI. So I'm going to plug in my MIDI controller just wait for that to switch itself on. If you want to use MIDI, you go Options menu, MIDI setup, and then you find your MIDI interface in the inputs. I'm using Arturia Mini Lab Mark II, and then just click on the abbreviation and change it to A. And then that means that the MIDI from your uh, Arturia or your keyboard or whatever controller is going to go into Forrester. And that's, you would only need to set that up once and that's, you should be good. The first sounds you make with Forrester, I suggest you go down to the bottom left-hand side where the presets are and just pick a preset like chimes five ways. It's a nice one. And then just drag, ah, no sound. So DSP open forgot to turn the sound on. Once you've set up your audio, you should only have to do this once, but you, you know, that's a, a little tip. If you don't get sound, just go in the audio, switch it on. Now we should get sound. And just go through a few of the presets, get an idea of what Forrester can do.
some of the presets are for live input. So um, if you look at live input effects, that will work with your uh, external input, which you set up here. So let's just see if that's working. Yeah, that's my synthesizer playing there. So if I play maybe an ARP on the synthesizer, I'm just gonna hold that. There we go. And then if I move around, so that's um, mono to stereo, because I've got a mono, that's uh, if I leave it mono, mono to stereo makes my mono signal. I don't need to monitor it because it's coming out here, but that's a little bit advanced. So if I move around, that signal from the synthesizer gets affected by the forest. I'm just going to change the notes on the synth. So that's the basic first steps of getting Forrester up and running, making your first sounds. There is much more to Forrester, which you'll discover if you carry on looking through the videos as I make them. I hope you have a really good time in Forrester and join the discourse server if you want to have a chat. See you in the next one.